I'm Teresa. I'm here with Sharon Butler. This is her first episode on making money in real estate. Sharon, thanks for being here. Please tell me what makes you the candidate to inform these viewers how to make money in real estate. Well, Teresa, I've been making money in real estate since 1979. I know it seems like a long time ago and the time has flown so fast. But I bought my first condominium, they say condo. I bought my first one in 1979, and I did this thing called pyramiding. What is pyramiding? Well, it's funny, I didn't know what pyramiding was myself until actually I was teaching real estate, and I saw the word pyramiding, and I read it, and I'm like, whoa, that's what I do. So what pyramiding is, is you buy your first property, it has to make sense that it's a rental property, because what you're going to do is you're going to refinance it after it gains equity, rent it out and take the cash that you took out of that property, put it into your next property and so on and so forth. Now, when you first obtain that rental property, do you have to be a resident first in that home or can you go ahead and just rent it out right away? Well, you can buy rental property and a lot of people go ahead and just buy rental property straight off the bat. However, when you buy a rental property, your down payment is a lot more. You're going to have to come up with 20 to 25% to buy a rental property. Plus the loans to get a rental property are much more difficult because you have to prove that you have reserves and that you can make the payments and that you know how to be a landlord. So the best way to do it is start with, I call it baby steps and in investing. So I did that first condo and then I purchased a three bedroom, two bath house. So you do baby steps and what I do is teach people how to buy, I had one class, 25 by 65. You should have 25 homes by the time you're 65. Wow, that's a lot of homes. <laughs> and I just don't teach money. I just don't teach people how to make money in real estate. I teach them how to really make money in real estate by being a loan officer, a real estate agent, a processor, an underwriter. There's so many different jobs you can have by having your real estate or mortgage license or both. What's the difference between a real estate uh, uh, agent and a loan processor or a loan agent? Okay, so that's like a wild question with a ton of them because you're asking, you know, real estate agent versus loan officer versus loan processor versus there's also positions where you can be a transaction coordinator working for a real estate agent. So that's why this class or this television show that I want to do will help people learn all the different types of careers you can have by having a real estate license, a mortgage license, or both. Uh, does a loan processor have to have a license? Well, we'll go into that on our next show, Making Money in Real Estate with Sharon Butler.